Hello, welcome to June 2017, paper 6, question 5, all about equations of lines. So we've got this graph here and we've got two coordinates labelled. Okay, so we've got to find the gradient of the line AB. So firstly, I'm just going to draw that line in uh, using my ruler. Now, when we find gradient, I've got to find the difference in the y's, the y coordinates, and divide that by the difference in the x coordinates. So I'm just going to draw in my little right angle triangle here so we can just look at those values a bit more carefully. So uh, firstly, we're going from A to B, so the difference in the y's. So the y coordinate here is 6 and the y co coordinate here is 3. So this has gone down 3 from 6 to 3, so the difference in the y's is going to be minus 3. It's going down, so it's very important we end up with a negative gradient. And the difference in the x's We've got an x coordinate here of minus 4, and an x coordinate here of 8. So from minus 4 to 8 is 12. So my gradient is minus 3 over 12. So we should simplify that fraction to get minus 1 quarter. So there's our gradient. Okay, so now we're going to find the equation of the line AB. So equations of straight lines are always in the format y equals mx plus c. In this case, we know the gradient already is minus a quarter. So we could fill in that y is minus a quarter x plus c. But we've got to work out the c. Now we've got two coordinates here we can use to help us. So I'm going to use the 8, 3 coordinate just because it's all positives and I think that will make our life a bit easier. So I'm going to take this x value and this y value and I'm going to put them into this equation. So y, which was 3, uh, minus a quarter times the 8, which was the x, plus this c that we don't know. Okay, so uh, minus a quarter plus 8 times 8 is minus 2. Okay, so then just add 2 to each side of this equation and we get that 5 is equal to c. So the c is 5, so my final answer y equals minus a quarter x plus 5. That's our equation of our line. And then finally, our point p has coordinates 0, minus 2. So 0, minus 2 is of course somewhere on the y-axis. Okay, so that is going to be our y-intercept. That's going to be our c-value. We've now got to write down the equation of the line parallel to AB. Okay, that means it's going to have the same gradient as the line AB because it's parallel. And it's going to go to this point here. So we'll have a y-intercept of minus 2. So its equation will be y equals minus a quarter x because it had the same gradient. And the y-intercept was minus 2. So the plus c bit will be minus 